Alright, um, so this video, 6.4 and 6.5. Um, we're continuing on with our theme of triangles and a lot of its properties and characteristics. Um, um, and there's actually a lot of cool things about triangles that you might not um, think that there is. But there's actually a lot of cool patterns and, um, and stuff with triangles. Um, unfortunately, we can't get to all of them because uh, we're trying to catch up. So, um, 6.4 will be really short. It's really just a, hey, here's some information to know. So, first of all, we want to define some characteristics and some things about triangles. So, first of all, let's talk about the, um, well, let's talk about the, the median of a triangle. So, I know it's not first on the list, but let's go to median. Okay. So, median of a triangle um, is a segment. So, median is a segment from a vor uh, from a vertex um, to the midpoint um, of the opposite side. Now, vertex, there are three vertex of a triangle. So in this triangle to the right, this is a vertex, right? So there's an angle, and there's an angle, and there's an angle. So the vertex means from that point of the triangle. OK, um, so knowing that, the definition says the median is a segment. So a segment is just a line, right? So is a segment from the vertex, so let's say we start here. So from the vertex of this triangle, or from this um, point of the triangle, to the opposite side. Okay, so here the opposite side of this vertex would be this side right here. And the opposite side from this vertex would be this side right here. And then from the opposite side from this vertex would be this side right here. So there are three medians in a triangle. So if we wanted to try, um, didn't draw a straight line. Okay, so from that vertex, from there, there is a median. And then from, whoops, I need so make sure that you draw them from the vertex. So from this vertex to this point right here. This is the midpoint. So these right here are all midpoints of their sides. Okay, and then from this vertex to this midpoint right there. So there you go. There are three me these are what we call um, medians. Okay, so there are three medians in a triangle. Um, also note that um, something kind of cool about medians. So this point right here, we won't get into it, and you won't be expected to know this, but this point right here is what we call the centroid of a triangle. OK, so the, the centroid of a triangle is actually um, pretty cool. But the distance, so let's say the distance from here to here um, is actually two-thirds. So this right here is two-thirds of the distance of this entire segment right here. It's two-thirds. So then this segment of this part of this segment right here is two-thirds. Okay. So this line right here is two-thirds of this entire line. And then this section right here is two-thirds of this line right here. So actually pretty cool how that works out. But anyway, so know what a median is. A median is, um, so it's, uh, it's a segment from the vertex. 
So right here, here are three vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So here's a midpoint, and here's a midpoint, and here's a midpoint. Okay, so that's median. Okay, um, next on the list is the altitude of a triangle. So the altitude of a triangle is um, the perpendicular it's the perpendicular segment the perpendicular segment from a vertex So it's the perpendicular segment from a vertex to the opposite side or to um, that or to the line that contains. the opposite side. Okay, so coming up here. So is a perpendicular line segment from the vertex. So again, in this example, here's a vertex right here. Um, so from that vertex, if you draw a perpendicular line, so this line that you draw from the vertex has to be perpendicular to the line opposite from it. Okay, so like down here, when we drew a line from the vertex, it w it just went to the the midpoint. It didn't have to be perpendicular with the opposite side. So this is saying that it has to be perpendicular with the opposite side. Um, and so it's basically just saying the altitude is like pretty much the height of a triangle, I guess you could say, um, kind of, but the thing is you could also do, um, like, uh, from here to here, so you can get, like, the, the height from this side of the triangle, but in any case, um, so yeah, um, and then, but notice here on the right side, so here is your triangle, like that, so the thing is, um, if you draw uh, you can't draw a line over here and have it like um, be a uh, perpendicular to the line PR. So you have to draw it straight down like this, and this is what we call, this is what it means like in the definition when it says or to the line that contains the opposite side. So this would be that line. This would be the line that contains the opposite side. Okay. Um, but anyway, so that is, these are what you call the altitudes of a um, triangle. Okay. Um, and there can't, there are three altitudes of in a triangle. Okay. Um, so if you want to just take a second and let's, um, Notice how these are different from perpendicular and angle bisectors. So, first of all, a perpendicular bisector So, a perpendicular bisector, if we remember the definition, meant that it intersect it bisected a line. So, this bisects a line in the middle in the middle of that line, okay? An angle bisector uh, bisected an angle in the middle. Now these medians and these altitudes aren't necessarily, so like um, you could say for um, this median right here. Now it does uh, intersect through this angle, but it doesn't necessarily intersect um, 
it doesn't bisect it, meaning that these angles on either side of it um, might not be, I guess you could say, um, equal to each other. Okay, um, and then while the mid segment, so these are actually equal to each other, these are equal to each other, and these are equal to each other but these lines don't um, bisect at a perp don't necessarily bisect at a perpendicular angle so that would be the difference from median and a perpendicular bisector and an angle bisector okay so um, I guess the the key point here is that these are bisectors meaning that they divide the angle or the line segment in half and then here this means it's perpendicular so while it does intersect this line in half it doesn't do it perpendicularly okay and then as for the altitude I guess you could say the same thing while it does intersect or it does intersect the line perpendicularly um, doesn't necessarily mean that this angle is bisected by the the altitude um, and it's certainly not bisecting this line this angle over here um, and on top of that um, this line down here um, it bisects this line but this line isn't really technically part of the triangle is it, is it even part of a line so that would be the the, the main difference there so um, but yeah if you notice anything else make sure you write it down um, yeah, notice anything else about the patterns of altitudes, median, go ahead and write it down. Um, but that should pretty much do it for this 6.4, and make sure you go to 6.5 for the rest of this lesson.